In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to adjust certain responsive settings on your Divi theme for WordPress. So that way your WordPress website looks the way you want it to, whether it's on desktop, mobile or tablet. So let's get into it. So I've got my test site here that uh, you may or may not have seen if you've been following along with the uh, series of videos I've been doing. This is just a basic site I've put together. Um, it's not real, uh, but wait, we've got a few areas that we want to go to to make sure it looks the way we want it to when we're going across different devices. The first place I'm going to go and touch on is actually in the theme editor. So up top here where it has the website name, I go to theme customizer, or if you're in the dashboard, head down to Divi and underneath Divi in its own subsection, there's a theme customizer option there. And you'll notice a tab here called mobile styles. I'm going to click on that and we get tablet, phone and mobile menu. And straight away, our preview has changed to that of a tablet and things don't look too bad. So what I essentially do here is I just go through and make sure things are looking the way I want them to and make sure I'm happy with them, which so far I am in the menu, doesn't look too bad. I then decide I'm gonna go into the tablet menu. So I can make adjustments here if I want to. I'm not really too concerned. I'm pretty happy that maybe the headers could be a little bit bigger. The body text is 15. I think I still want that to be 16. And these are all kind of like alternate settings. So if I actually tab out for a second out of mobile styles and go back into general settings up top and typography, you see the body text size is 16. So this, these are the default settings for the website that will be used primarily on desktop and it'll sort of filter through to the other devices, which we can then adjust further here under mobile styles. So when I go to phone now, it will switch to a small phone sized sort of screen and things don't look too bad here either. And remember, once you've done all this, actually grab a phone and check it out. Now, this page has some issues where there's just a little too much spacing, but we're gonna to touch on that later in the actual theme builder. So we've got here little sections. That looks all right. Everything's looking pretty good. However, I think maybe the text might be a bit bigger. Some areas like this, where we've got a bit of spacing here, it's just a little bit uh, sort of squashed. And being on a phone, we can get away with probably a bit of a smaller text size. So where it says 14 there, I'm gonna drop that down to, well, it's actually not adjusting that area. <laughs> so let's try somewhere else. So you can see the text, paragraph text size changing here. So maybe we change it down to 13 or 14. And the header text size can be up or down. I generally make it a bit smaller because you have less space to work. Now the final part is when we go to the mobile menu. So we can actually hide the image and just have the menu if we want to. We can also change the text color. We can make it say blue and the background color red, which looks pretty horrible but you get the idea, we can change that color, make it full strength and adjust. So these are the bare bones, super basic uh, options that uh, you can adjust. But I'm going to publish those and that way, whenever I view on a tablet or a phone, it'll actually reflect on those styles I've set there. I'm gonna X out. Now the remainder of the options we're gonna look at are going to be, well for one, and we'll just quickly mention, if you do understand CSS coding, you can set some options there and have more control over the window sizes. Uh, but obviously most people who are probably gonna be downloading and using Divi probably aren't overly familiar with CSS, although I do recommend if you decide you wanna get very particular about what you can do, I recommend learning CSS. But we're gonna enable the Visual Builder because the rest of the settings we look at are gonna be done in the actual Divi page builder. So we've got this open here and quite often it reloads. There we go. I'm not sure why that is. It's just an issue I have and I know a lot of other people do too. But essentially, if you're using say the theme builder or you're just working on a particular page, there are all these settings that are worth looking into. We're gonna to touch on a few of the quick ones to get them over and done with. And then we're gonna go from there. So what I'm gonna do is let's say I've got a nice big image somewhere. Let's say we've got three columns here. I put one big image in here. I try to find one that's reasonably tall, like this one, and tick. Sorry. So we've got this image here, and if we've got a bit of extra text there, maybe that doesn't look too bad on desktop. But then what we're, when we're actually editing this, we can click on our little dots down the bottom here, and when it's viewed on a tablet, it might stack 
and it ends up being just way too big. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go through a few options that we can cover with this image. Because if I go back to desktop, it's not too bad. So the first thing I'm going to do is maybe what we want to do is simply remove that image altogether. You can actually do this not just with modules, but with columns as well. So if I decide I want to go for a column, I'm actually going to go to the green area here for this row. Choose the final column. And under advanced, there's a tab here called visibility. If I open that up, I have some options here. I can disable this on phone and tablet. So now if I actually click the tick button, tick again, this entire column will disappear when I switch to tablet. Although because we're in the editor, you can see it's actually semi-transparent, but it will actually disappear altogether when viewed at this screen size altogether. So that is just a cool little option to turn things off. And then you can also replace them if you decide you want to. So maybe we want to go say add another image underneath. Maybe something a bit more suitably proportioned. And then under advanced, although that actually turned, deactivates the whole column. So you can see this entire column is grayed out because we've made the adjustment here. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to show you another quick thing you can do, which is to simply have options that switch. At the moment, we have both there. We don't want that. I'm gonna go back into our column settings under visibility and untick these options, click tick. So now we're actually going to do this to the individual images in the exact same fashion as we did before. I open up this image, I go to advanced, I go to visibility and I disable on phone and tablet and click tick. But what I can do with the second image is actually hit the cog button, go to advanced and when I go to visibility, I can actually just disable it on desktop and click OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this and I'm just going to quickly open it up publicly and show you how that works. Okay, so now I'm on my desktop version of my page and you'll see I've only got one image there. For some reason, it's cropped, but that's the image that we wanted to show on desktop, whereas we have that other image from the computer that we want to show on mobile. So we're going to switch to a mobile view and you see we've got our page here in a mobile view. If I scroll down, our other image is now showing up instead. So we actually have the ability to turn certain things off and certain things on depending on whether we're on desktop, tablet, or phone and the way that works is anything that's over i think it's 980 pixels is considered desktop anything under that is a tablet and then uh, i'm not quite sure but i believe it's 770 uh, 767 pixels wide is the maximum for mobile so that gives you some idea of how that works and how you can sort of turn some elements on and some elements off so we're back inside the visual builder and we're gonna look at the next step, which is where most of the fun is when it comes to responsive design. So I'm gonna go into this header up here. This is a full width header. I'm gonna click on the cog. And you'll notice over here, I've got all my usual options. There's nothing too fancy there. But when I go to design and to spacing, when we were on the phone earlier, there was just too much space top and bottom because we have 120 pixels of padding which is padding space inside the box, outside of the content, that's actually creating that space. But it's great on desktop, not so great for other areas. So if I hover next to the name, I get a few options. And one of them is this little phone icon. And if I click that, I now get these separate tabs, which allow me to insert different sort of settings depending on what device. So if I click on tablet, and I think that that doesn't look too bad, I'm happy with that, however, if we're looking at a tablet and it's actually uh, like a horizontal view, maybe we actually want that to be higher. Maybe we want it to be 200 and 200 so we get a more a fuller picture. And when we go to phone, we can then decrease that even further. At the moment, it's 80 and 80, phone, which is actually holding an old setting. If I actually make this 40 and 40, we get much tighter. Or I can unlink these and make the top even 20 to really tighten it up. So now if I tick away from that, you'll see we've got our desktop view where it looks certain looks one way, our tablet view where it's even taller, and then our phone view where it's actually even tighter. But this not just spacing, this setting, these uh, sorry, these hover settings actually apply across I think the majority of the design settings in Divi. So if I go back in here, 
I can hover over even the background image, click the phone icon, and if I go to say phone, I can skip tab a little together and have it just inherit the desktop settings, but I can go in here and even change the actual image. Something like this. And I can also go through into the design tab and you'll notice if I hover over everything, this doesn't have it here, the text and alignment. It doesn't have it there for full screen. If I go to image, it does have it for rounded corners. So you actually just have to hover over the names of certain areas to see if the phone icon pops up. And that's how you can make adjustments across your entire site to the finest details. This is very powerful if you're using the theme builder to set up your main templates, because then you can just simply use the WordPress Gutenberg or block editor to do the internal parts of your pages. But you can set up your text styles for different things across the board in the theme builder as well that way. But one thing I'm going to do is I don't like the way these buttons are stacked because they're too big. I'm going to go to button one and where it says button one size, I click phone. And maybe I just shrink that right down to about 15. I can't and do the same thing for button two. Button two, custom styles, button sex size, phone down to 15. So now we have smaller buttons. Tick and say. So that is essentially, I don't need to go through and give you more examples because it is pretty straightforward. That's exactly how it works. But I'm going to quickly switch to the live version of the site. Actually, no, I don't need to switch to the live version of the site. But if I go here to tablet, we get this. And even if I just grab these handles here, I can try different sizes. And you'll see once I get below phone size, we get a different background and smaller buttons. Bring it out, it changes, bring it in. So that is how powerful this feature is. You can go through, check it out for yourself. If there's anything you'd like to adjust, just investigate, hover over that little uh, text area, see if that icon pops up, and you can change those settings to make it look the way you want it to on mobile or tablet. So that's the video for today. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. If you don't have the Divi theme, don't forget to check it out. You can download it using the uh, link on the screen right now. Very powerful theme, as you can see, all of the options available really make it um, almost endless what you can create with it. Otherwise, if you've got any other questions or things you'd like me to touch on in Divi, I don't know absolutely everything, but if I can, I will help out with a future video. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to speak to you again soon.